everybody welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel i am mars your modern ina okay so ngayon very excited ako kasi ito na isa na rin po ako sa mga nagpabudol hindi ko na napigilang magpabudol and i have here this derma vacuum cleaner the dx 700 vacuum cleaner yan ito na nga Ito na, ito na. Binili ko to actually, October, I think October pa. And it's almost the third week of November. And yun lang magbibigay ng review dito. Yes, bakit? Gusto ko kasi talaga siyang subukan muna. Okay. And, ayan na nga. Diba, ang daming chika, ang daming cheese, miss. Totoo ba? Totoo nga? O totoo? a review about this product. Okay. Masad ba ako dito? Masaya ba akong binili ko to? Okay ba siya? Ang dami kasing review, di na ako nabasa, kaya medyo parang alanganin eh. Parang may mga nega. Alam mo yun? So medyo alanganin. Pero hindi pa rin ako nagpapigil. Bumili pa rin tayo ng vacuum cleaner. And it's Dierma. DX700. Bakit dito tayo nagpabudol eh? Ang dami namang ibang vacuum cleaners dyan. Okay? So, before that, kailangan natin sagutin yung mga mga haka-haka ng iba about this. Okay? Ano ba yung mga yon First, madali daw siyang uminit. As in, madaling uminit. Second, masyado daw siyang lightweight to the point na madali siyang masira. Third, maingay. Maingay siya. Fourth, mabigat. Mabigat daw itong may wagang derma. So, ano ba yung magiging input ko dito? If you are interested, why not watch this? This 600 watt 2 in 1 handheld vacuum cleaner has a 4.5 meter power cord, which you can secure to the Y reel snap into the tube. So you can plug this into a 220 volt outlet. Reminder I set the volume sa closest actual noise na maririnig nyo once na ginamit nyo na yung vacuum cleaner. Yeah, and let's minimize the volume once I explain or discuss to you yung different functions netong vacuum cleaner. But before that, let's enjoy muna itong satisfying na paglilinis natin using this vacuum. Basically, yung noise netong vacuum cleaner na to, eh hindi naman ganun ka-annoying. I think it's normal lang, pero sakto lang naman siya. Hindi naman siya yung nakakabother talaga. Not unless talaga na may mga kasama kayong may ginagawa. I think sila yung mababother. Pero ikaw na naglilinis, okay lang naman. Its noise is similar to the blower once yung ginagamit mo na siya. Yun, almost similar sa kanya yung tunog na or ingay na napoproduce niya. This vacuum cleaner comes with several accessories once you unbox it. So currently, I am changing this extension wand sa dusting brush. This dusting brush attachment is used to trap dust on books, blinds, light fixtures, and the like. In this case, I use this on the carpet because why not? Kasi um, ito, isa sa mga common problems nating mga girls, ano? Yung iba, syempre, may mga hair fall dyan. So, I observed na kayang-kaya niya i-capture pati yung mga hair. Yan. I mean, yung hair strands. And of course, yung mga dust. Tsaka yung ibang himulmol and yung mga other dirt na napunta sa ating carpet. 
So this time, I am detaching the dusting brush. Tapos papalitan natin siya ng crevice tool. This crevice tool or the crevice nozzle is a tube with angled tip. Basically, it's used and very efficient in cleaning tight areas or spots like corners, vents, and areas between sofa cushions. So, ito ginagamit ko siya for cleaning our sofa cushion. Right? So, yan. So, I am replacing it with the swivel brush head na attached on the extension wand. Yan din yung gamit ko earlier na panglinis. And then, the swivel brush head is also, or it can be considered as the multi-surface cleaner. So, it has rollers. So, may mga mini wheels yan. That's why madali lang siyang gamitin. So, this is used on floors or any flat surfaces. And also, pwede mo rin siyang gamitin sa mga carpets. Para hindi malito sa pag-attach ng swivel brush and yung pipe extension, meron siyang markers na naka-indicate. This time, we need to use yung ating pipe extension and yung crevice nozzle because ito, lilinisin natin yung parts na hindi natin kayang abutin. So, ito yung maganda dito because we can make use of this too para maabot natin yung mga corners. Yan. As you can see, yung mga ceilings, walls, pwede natin maabot using this pipe extension and of course, the crevice tool or the crevice nozzle. I also use this vacuum cleaner sa aming car and dito particularly sa aming car carpet. Okay, so amazingly, nakita ko naman na it really collected yung mga dust particles inside and makikita natin siya sa dirt bin. Of course, pagkatapos natin gamitin, kailangan din natin itong linisin at ayusin para pag sa susunod natin gagamitin ito, siguradong ready na siya para gamitin. And I believe isa ito sa mga paraan para ma-maintain ito at hindi agad ito masira. And as you can see, I am cleaning this swivel head brush with a damp cloth para hindi agad siya masira. Tsaka mas madali kasing makulik yung dumi using it. And of course, you can see meron siyang rollers para mas madali rin siyang gamitin once ginamit natin siya sa pag-collect ng dumi sa mga floors. And this is the dusting brush or the dust brush. Makikita niyo may mga hair strands and may mga collected na dust. So, hindi na din gusto yan na nandyan lang yan. So, we need to also clean it. Ngayon, I made use of another brush para linisin ito. Okay? So, yun. And of course, may mga parts din siya like dyan yung mga holes na yan na kailangan din linisin kasi naipon din dyan yung mga dust. Alright, for this crevice tool or the crevice nozzle, pwede rin natin siyang punasan ng damp cloth or you can also wash it with water and soap. Pati pala yung dust brush kanina ha, pwede natin gamitan ng water and soap to clean it. This is the pipe extension. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ginamit din natin siya kanina, of course, para ma-extend natin yung mga nozzles na ginamit natin. Okay? So, marami rin siyang collected dust inside, kaya kailangan din natin siyang linisin. You can make use of longer cloth para malinis yung loob. Pwede rin naman natin siyang hugasan with soap and water. For the parts na gagamitan natin ng soap and water para sa paglilinis, just make sure na tuyuin ng mabuti, okay? Bago nyo siya i-store para hindi siya masira agad. 
eto na. Ito na yung tinatawag nating dust bin or dust bucket or dirt bin. So, ito yung paglagyan ng mga collected dirt, dust, or anything na nakapture na itong vacuum cleaner natin. It's easy to remove and to put it back because it's a snap-on one. So, madali lang siyang gamitin. Nakita nyo naman kanina na may button lang tayong kailangang i-press. Okay. So, this part is also part of that bin. So, may mga dust din dyan. Kailangan din natin linisin. So, basically, kailangan mo talagang tignan yung mga parts na sulok-sulok para tanggalin yung mga dust. Mas maganda kasi talagang tanggalin yung lahat ng mga dust na yan. Alright, moment of truth. Yan, ang dami nating nakolek na mga dumi. Mostly mga hair strands. Hay nako. And of course, yung mga dust. Hindi niya kayang i-collect yung malalaking mga ano ha, kalat. Okay, so yung mga ipulutin nyo na yun, okay? So it's very easy to remove lang naman. Just pull that off lang, yung cover niya. And voila. This transparent dust bucket or dirt bin can collect around 1 liter of dirt or dust. We also had additional research about this filter over here and according to its producer, this is a three-way filter vacuum. Two of these are the polyurethane foam and since it's a polyurethane foam, this can be washed. Aside from you can dust it off. Polyurethane or polyester foam is for air filtration. So it is free flowing, so it increases the performance of the vacuum. Removing this filter is very much easy. This is the polyurethane foam na pwedeng tanggalin para pwede ninyo siyang i-dust off and pwede nyo rin siyang labhan. Alright. So, itong filter naman na to, part ng filter na to, you can just make use of this, the brush para naman tanggalin yung dust. Oo oh, nga pala, pwede nyo rin palang hugasan yung dust bucket or yung dirt bin, ha? Alright, just make sure ulit na tuyuin yung muna siya. After cleaning, we can now put back the polyurethane foam. Hindi naman siya nakakatakot tanggal ay I, I mean hindi naman siya nakakatakot tanggalin or ikabit. Hindi naman ma-deform yung isang part ng filter niya. Okay lang din naman. All right. So that's it. And it's ready na. All right. Para ibalik. So, ito naman yung isa sa mga polyurethane foam na naka-attach sa ating vacuum. When you're returning back this dust bucket, make sure na maririnig nyo yung pag-snap niya. Okay, it means it's already locked and secured. Now, what can I say about this 2-in-1 DX700 handheld vacuum cleaner? Personally, I really like this vacuum cleaner because it's very lightweight. It's around 2 kilos. The length is 44 inches. The quality of the material is very good, made of solid plastic. It has a strong suction. It's ergonomic. It's very convenient, easy to use, easy to clean, and easy to store.